Welcome. In this video, we are going to do a high-level overview of the Web Acute Tracker in the Meditech system. Web Acute will be the first point of entry when you launch into the Meditech system. Emergency department physicians will launch directly into a different tracker called WebED. If you have access to both the WebED tracker and the Web Acute Tracker, you'll be able to toggle between the trackers by selecting this down arrow on the home button. At the top of the screen, you will see this navigation bar. The navigation bar is always on the top of the screen, no matter where you might be in the patient's chart. It provides you with quick options to go directly into the patient's chart, to document on the patient, place orders on the patient, or to go into the discharge routine. Below this navigation bar is your patient list. You have several different patient lists that you can choose from. The default is the rounds patient list. If you wanted to select a different type of patient list, you would click over top of the rounds patient list and it will provide you with some recent lists that you have had been using recently. If you want to see all the options available to you, you would click on show all lists and you will see all available patient list formats that you have access to. Let's go back to our rounds patient list. The rounds list shows you the patients you are associated with as a provider. This can be as the MRP attending or as a consultant. When you click on a row, you will see that it highlights in green. This lets you know that you have selected this patient and thus, if you were to go into any of these navigation bar buttons, it will apply to the patient that you have highlighted. On the patient list, you are able to quickly identify the patient's name, their age and sex, where they're located in the hospital, their diagnosis, and how long they've been in the hospital. You will also see who the attending MRP physician is, which is noted in bold lettering, as well as any other providers that are associated with this patient, such as a consultant. The tracker also has a yellow post-it note. This post-it note is available for personal notes and reminders that you would like to put on this patient. These do not get saved in the patient's chart. For example, if I click on this one, I can put in a personal note to remind myself to book a family meeting. Once again, as you will see by the comment below here, that this is not stored in the patient's permanent record. When I hit save, that reminder is now on my post-it note here. Off to the far right hand side, you will see this green indicator showing me that I have one new message on this patient. We will review the messaging capabilities within the Meditech system in another video. I'm going to scroll down on my tracker. And you will see when there's further information available on a patient, it will also populate under the tracker. In this example, you will see that some of the acute problems that have now been entered into the system for this patient will start listing here. Although the patient came in with an admitting diagnosis of chest pain, you will see that some of the acute problems that have become an issue while they were in hospital include congestive heart failure and diabetes. Also over here beside the yellow post-it note, you will start to see documentation that has been started on this patient as the documentation has been started or one that has been completed, including assessments, they will start to populate this area here. You can directly go into these documents by clicking on them. On the far right hand side of the patient list, you will see the indicator box. This indicator box will let you know when new reports, imaging, 
and laboratory investigations have been reported on the patient. The indicators will change color when new information is available. For example, on this patient here, you will see that lab has been lit up in red. This lets me know that there are new results back for the lab and that they have some abnormal results. By clicking on this box, it will take me directly to review that information. Another part that is important to show is the edit coverage feature within the patient tracker. Beside the rounds list, you will see a little box that currently has a little icon of a person. This is where you would edit coverage for your patient list. Currently, since there's just one little person in this icon, this patient list is only showing patients that I'm associated with. If, however, I want my patient list to include other providers' patients, for example, if I'm covering for them over the weekend, I can go in and build coverage for that. When I click on this icon, I can select Edit Coverage, and it provides me with options of how I can build my coverage. If I know the provider that I want to cover for, I can select them here. It will remember providers that I have recently covered, or I can look them up as well in the search box over here. Once I've selected the providers that I'm covering for, I can then select Save, and my patient list will now update to include the patients that are associated with that provider. You will now see that there are two people on the icon. If I want to switch back to show just my patients, I can hide the coverage, and it will once again show me just my patients. The tracker also has functionality to allow you to have sign-out notes for patients. If you click on the sign-out button here, you will see that the tracker now has this additional box added. This box here allows you to place some notes on the patient for other providers that you may be handing over to to cover for you. Once again, the notes that are placed in these boxes are for your use only. They are not part of the patient's record. For example, for this patient here, if I wanted to leave some important information to my colleague who's covered me for the weekend, I would click in here and enter that information. When I click Save, that item now shows up in this box. To go back to my rounding list, I click on rounding, and my list shows up here once again. If I were the physician who's covering, I could click on the sign out button and see any important information that the physician has left for me to be aware of for this patient. On the right hand side of the navigation bar, you will see the sign button. The sign button will highlight with a number in the top right hand corner, the number of items that you have pending for sign off. When I click on this button, it will take me into the list of documents or items that need to be signed off. We will explore the sign off list in more detail in a future video. I'm going to go back to my tracker now by clicking the home button. You will also notice that although the sign button tells me I have 13 documents in total that need to be signed off, when I go into a patient's chart, such as the one that is highlighted, you will see that the number has now disappeared on the sign button. This tells me that I have no items that need to be signed for this particular patient. In the top right hand column beside the physician's name, you will see a button with three stacked lines. This is often referred to as the hamburger button. When you select this button after a patient has been highlighted, it will provide you with some menu options available for that patient. For example, 
I can remove this patient from my list. I can add a patient to my list. And I can modify the provider team that this patient is currently on. On the far left hand side of the screen, you will see the menu button. When you select this button, it gives you various options for different things that can be changed within the system. The external links option, when you click on it, provides you with links external to Meditech that you have quick access to, such as up to date. On the right hand side of the screen, you will see this green box. This is your workload. The workload will provide you messages based on different categories of information for you to review. For example, here you see consults. When I click on this, I see a consult request that has been sent to me for this particular patient. Similarly, if results come back on a patient, they will also show up here on my workload. The tracker has been designed to auto refresh so that the information shown is accurate. If however you feel as though you want to force a refresh of the tracker screen, you can click this little circular arrow here. Clicking on that will force a refresh of the tracker. Thank you for watching.